Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Uh, got an unboxing, two end all unboxings for myself. Um, basically, you see my higher end knives. Uh, well, this one's not, but you know I consider it a high end knife because uh, I love it so much. But um, the reason I got these out, um, basically, it started with, you know, I started with a Kershaw Cyclone and a Tenacious and a shitty. Uh, Smith and Wesson knockoff, and I end up with these and you know multiple other spider codes and whatnot. Um, but uh, you know I'm starting to get, unfortunately, a little higher taste in knives, which is uh, always a bad. It's always a good thing, but you know it can be very bad for the wallet. Luckily, you know, sorry, I'm smoking a cigarette because I need to right now because it's uh, yeah, this unboxing is it, you know I, I got tissues here just in case I cry, but um. Basically, my, you know, luckily with the my business that I'm running, you know, I don't have a shit ton of money, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I make good money doing this, but not enough to just go out and buy, like, just one of these flat out. I haven't paid for any of these. I, you know, I got this one with a really good trade. I got this one with a really good trade plus some work. I got this one for, for some work, and I got this one for some work. And so luckily, you know, I haven't had to spend a whole bunch to get these things, which is kind of my goal in the beginning, but you know, I have to save money too for supplies and whatnot. But um, this one is going to be basically my dream come true, pretty much, guys. Um, so I wanted to share this unboxing with you as much as it kills me to sit here and wait. Um, you know, I gotta do it, so I'll take this Strider, my newest acquisition. And uh, so you get the priority box. Carefully open it up. Okay, it's one roll. Okay, first off, we got one of Neptune's personal knives for uh, for some refurbishing. So this is from Neptune Knives. Luckily, he went to the California Knife Show, and yeah, he had a nice uh, nice lockup on here. I think it's one of the ones he beat the shit out of. Jesus, <laughs> you weren't kidding, dude. But um. Yeah, he went to the knife show, he saw this, and he knew how much I wanted it and how hard they were to get. So, uh, yeah, this is, I've never had a pouch, any knife come in a pouch before. So I'm going to be doing this kind of not looking at the camera because I don't want to see this so badly. Oh, man. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Custom Jens Anzo. Funk. There it is, guys. Titanium frame lock. Oh my god. Perfectly centered. Smooth as butter. Great ergonomics. Wow. Wow. So this is. Wow, that grip is pretty damn sweet. This is, um. This is the dream knife, guys. Beautiful, beautiful stone wash on there. Got the Enzanzo pattern. It's the first time I've ever really seen it. Done by the man himself. And I could say it's I, I thought I you know I thought I might be better at it than him, but you know, it's very clean. Wow. Really thick titanium. Nice little black backspacer. It says funk right there. Doesn't say Anzo on it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, <laughs> the real deal. Wow, guys. Just gonna wipe the tear away real quick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, well, that's that is Jesus. Speechless guys, this is just freaking smooth, rock solid, as I would expect. Just gorgeous, swedgy like thing here. Fortunately, it's only tipped down, but you know what? I don't give a shit. I doubt I'm gonna be carrying this thing like much due to the uh, price of this. 
Wow. Thank you, Neptune, seriously. You are the man. Kind of reminds me of a Zulu a little bit, but definitely a lot cooler than a Zulu for sure. There's a wacky blade shape. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you because now I'm going to get to some fondling. I feel like Orimoto right now. So smooth. Perfect lockup. This is from the master himself. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have some temp videos later. That is, if I don't just sit in the corner and hug this thing. Alright guys, have a good one. Peace.